Hey everyone, uh, Salesforce Shorts here. In this video, we're just gonna talk about how to use uh, a try and catch block inside of Apex code. So first thing I'm gonna do is just go to developer console. And from here, I'm just gonna go to new and Apex class. And I'll just call this um, try catch example for now. Uh, oh, it looks like I've already got something similar to that. Let's call this try catch D. All right, sweet. So inside of this, um, we'll just get sort of get straight into it. So probably one of the easiest examples is to try and use some sort of um, math example. So let's use a integer and just call this num and we'll make that 10 and then we'll create another integer and call this div1 so this one will make zero and then we'll create another integer and let's just call this result so here we want to do something like just dividing this one or multiplying it. So we'll just divide it with div one. All right, so we're definitely gonna get an error here. Um, let's just create a method in here as well. So we'll just call this public uh, public weed. Do, 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 do. Math, eg. All right, sweet. So we've got a basic basic code here. So yeah, inside of any other code, like for example, if you've got if you're creating a task or whatever you're doing, you can use try catch basically any way you want. So to do that, all you need to do is just put it put try T R Y and then open curly bracket, closing cur curly bracket where you want it to end. So basically, it's going to go through all of this code here, and yeah, you can make it pretty much as big or as small as you want. Um, if I just wanted to check one line, I could do that as well, where I could just do something similar to that and just do my try catch there. Then after this, you need to put um, catch and then exception. So exception and then just put whatever you want to call it there, E. And then all we need to do is, you can either throw an error or something like that, but I'm just gonna go System.debug, and let's call this um, my exception error. All right, so if we get an error, just take that E, put that E here. All right, cool. So basically what's happening here is we've got a try, um, that checks all of the code here, and then we've got a catch. So the catch will catch any exceptions. You do you do get different kinds of exceptions like DML and like a whole lot of other stuff, but uh, I just feel like this one's the best overall because this one will pretty much catch anything. So we'll just use this exception for now, then put in our system.debug there, and then this will catch the exception if there is anything. So I'm just gonna take this code out and put that back in there. Um, pretty cool trick is if you hit Command A and then Shift and Tab, it'll sort of fix up your code if it looks messy. All right, so next thing is, we're just gonna call this method here. So let's just do something like this. Execute that. Uh, yeah, sorry, we need to initiate this first. So let's just call this TCE equals new try catch E. All right, sweet. So we've got that there. Hopefully that'll work. Okay, cool. So let's go to debug log. Yeah, sweet. So it says, yeah, all right. Um, math exception and then the error is divided by zero. So it picked up, it picked up um, what the error is. So this can be quite helpful if, if you're running through code and you're not quite sure what the problem is. Um, a lot of the times this will actually tell you what's what's the problem and then you can just um hopefully look at your code 
fix it up like this, maybe put in a tool or something, and then um, hopefully that'll help you fix the problem. So if I run this again, uh, yeah, you'll see that there's no errors. Yeah, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe and check out our other videos. Thanks.